All right, y'all, today we got something that I don't normally do, but just work on somebody else's car. This is my friend's 2017 Kia Forte. Having an issue with the car where under load, it ain't doing nothing. So I think she said on the highway, it gets a 6.3 and it goes in some sort of limp mode. Been talking to her for about a week and she went to like Advance Auto, AutoZone or Raleigh somewhere, and it said something about excessive load. Now, before the car started acting funny, she had filled it up with gas somewhere and that gas station or where they get their fuel from had like a fuel recall. So I'm thinking that it fouled the plugs because she has since then put like a tank and a half or two tanks of gas in it and it's still running funny. So I'm thinking it fouled the plugs. So we're gonna go on a test drive to verify if that is the issue. But either way it goes, she said this car has never had a tune-up that she knows of and it has over 100,000 miles on it. I think these plugs are supposed to be done every between 70 and 100,000 miles so i do have the ngk iridiums for the car a cabin L filter because it's probably never been changed and an Eden L filter because it's probably never been changed so let's go on the ride let's verify the condition and let's go from there all right whoa 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 seat whoa seat whoa seat whoa 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 all right, we do have a flashing engine light. So when we get back, I will get out my engine code reader and see what it says and clear it or whatever. So, so the car is definitely in some type of limp mode because like if I floor it, like this is floored. Like my foot is to the ground. So it's not applying no sort of power under load at all. So yeah, it has, yeah, like any, under any load, like I'm floored. It ain't doing nothing. So let's see how fast it's going on the highway. Uh, she said that it will only go about 63. So we can verify that. And then uh, we'll see if it does any better after we do a little bit of work on it. All right, getting on the highway. Let's slow it down until about 20. All right, we're at 20. Now I'm flooring it. I am foot on the floor. I mean, foot to the pedal. And this is all it's doing. I wonder how she's been driving this for the last week. Like, I'm literally foot on the pedal. Pedal all the way down. This is all it's got. Like, it's doing no load whatsoever. So, hopefully, the plugs and the computer reset. But I'm thinking the, the plug's got to be fouled. Like, I don't know what else it would be. All right, we get 60, 61, 63, going downhill, 64. Oh, no, I felt, I felt the pull back. I'm still foot on the floor. I felt the pull back. All right, yeah, it's definitely, it's, yeah, it's definitely running in limp mode. Like, I'm all the way to the floor. All right, so let's get back to the house. Uh, let me get my scan tool, see what it says, and then let's get the spark plug swapped out. Let's disconnect the battery. Uh, and reset the engine code due to air filter in the cabin filter and see if that makes the improvement that I hope it does. If it doesn't, I just, I'm not sure what the issue is. All right, so here we have a P2191. System two lean at higher load, bank one. Cam shaft sensor B circuit range performance. So cam shaft sensor bank one. Crank shaft position bank one. Glow relay. And system two lean. All right. So what I'm going to do here? I'm going to clear all of these. Race is successful. System too lean and higher low. How come it didn't clear that one? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the battery and go ahead and do these spark plugs 
an air filter and I'll be back if I find anything strange for a piece of change. These kids may have a lot of issues, but they also have a built-in parts tray just for that reason. So on these cars, I'm not sure if this is bank one or if this is bank four. I don't have the slightest idea. So let's see how this plug looks. Oh, it's nice and ashy white and tan. That tip looks a little funny. But this car has 106,000 miles on it and plugs have never been changed. That doesn't look too terrible. It does indeed look lean, but not absolutely terrible. Plug is also a little wet. So I wonder if this motor has that, that uh, issue with the oil uh, getting past the piston rings and burning oil. I don't know. Let me get the other three out. So on this car, it has this little apparatus here, which I'm guessing is some sort of intake vacuum system. But they designed, they didn't design the coil pack around this system. And no video on YouTube of a Kia Forte has this vacuum system. It just has just one like plug going into the intake manifold, not this whole contraption here so and they have it in here and like the cool pack just will not come out and I'm trying to see if this is only vacuum then it looks like I can pop this cover off and pull the line out and get it out but I don't want to mess with it if I can't get it back on so as soon as I figure out how to get this off and if I can put it back on without having to replace anything, I'm going to do that. But right now, I'm kind of, I'm literally stuck because it just, like, just one millimeter and can't get this thing off. So, once I get it figured out, or if I just, you know, throw a screwdriver at it, I'll let you know. All right, I finally shimmed it out. Let's see what this plug looks like. If this plugs look really bad, that means that this one is number one. I never did look up which one was one and which one was four. So as far as the spark plugs go, they all look good and consistent. This one was a little wet. So I'm wondering if whether there's cylinder one or four is having a little oil blow by issue. Cause all the rest of them are dry. But yeah, I mean, nothing looks too out of place. They do look good to borderline lean on how tan they are. But like I said, but they have 108,000 miles on them. So now I'm going to do the engine filter and the cabin filter, and I'll be back. New filter versus old filter. Old filter doesn't look that bad, but for $10, might as well put a new one on. This Cabinet filter has probably not been changed since 2017. So let's get that switched out. All right, battery is hooked back up. And it still says this is a permanent. Can I not clear it? All right, it is not letting me clear it. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. We're gonna go on the ride and we're gonna see if it's any better. Just started the car up. So good sign is no check engine light. So yeah, like I said, we'll see when we get on the highway, see how she runs. All right, quick trip to Mexico. Didn't take that long this time. All right, 20 miles per hour, let's floor it. All right, yeah, that feels a whole lot better than before. All right. So yeah, I would say that the problem is 
is solved. And it's a good thing that Mexico doesn't have speed limits when they don't enforce it. I would say that the issue is solved and I'm pretty sure that the bad gas either fouled the plug or it just it took a sensor out of range and then if I reset the engine uh, check light it probably would have been fine but why not go ahead and spend you know uh, 56 more dollars go ahead and do the spark plug because the car got 106,000 miles on it the air filter didn't look that bad but need to be changed and the cabin filter definitely need to be changed so I'm going to say if you have the same issue do the spark plugs and reset the uh, the engine codes, and you should be good to go. Problem solved. This car was easy. Hopefully yours is as easy and as cheap as well without the dealership trying to charge you probably a thousand dollars for some BS. But hey, that's not here nor there. So until next time, think, build, enjoy. We are out.